Happy Monday, Floss Tube. Hello, crafty friends. How's everybody doing today? My name's Caroline. Welcome back to another Notes from the Workshop video. Uh, this, uh, we had so much happen in the month leading up to Stitch North. Things that happened in the shop that we were working on that I never really had a chance to come on YouTube and show you and share with you. So I still have a few videos left to do. Still lots more things to talk about, but today it's all about Bendy Stitchy Designs. Michelle Bendy. We did a collaboration together. Uh, Bendy Stitchy Designs, Evertote, and Leo and Roxy Floss Co. that came out at the beginning of March. And it was, you can see my flamingo here. This was one of two flamingo charts uh, designed by Michelle called Flamingo Duo. And uh, so I'm going to pop in a photo here of the two charts so that you can see what the design looks like. We are, I'm really thrilled that we are now going to be offering PDFs as well as physical charts for Bendy Stitchy Designs. And I'm going to pop in a photo here of the website and you can see at the top, the tabs, we have a new chart designers tab and you can click that button and it will give you a drop down menu of some of the different designers that we are starting to uh, carry their designs in the shop. And so Bendy Stitchy, Michelle, uh, we, we now have, I've brought in her newest market releases as PDFs. And two of those charts, well, Flamingo Duo was not a market release, that was just our collaboration. But you can see here the Lady Man chart, that was one of her natural releases. And I have a physical copy of that as well as the PDF, but I'm getting ahead of myself because I'm going to, I'm going to chat about Flamingo Duo first. So you can see here, I've got mine well underway. And when Michelle first sent me this design, I, I had to laugh when I saw it. And I said, you know, that, that punk rock Flamingo is really quite funny because, you know, we all have a friend like that. And she, she said back to me, she said, yes, me, I am that friend. So I think I'm also going to have to stitch the punk flamingo in honor of my friend, Michelle. So let me, let me share some details with you here. The collaboration came with a floss pack and look at the colors. Michelle chose these colors and I think she put together an amazing collection of colors that just go together beautifully. So I'll tell you a little bit more about which ones those are in just a second. It came with um, the needle needle keep, which is an ex this was an original design um, artwork, original artwork by Carrie Massio of Leo and Roxy Flasco, and then turned into that beautiful needle minder. And there was a bag set made by us here at Evertote, and it was this amazing flamingo fabric and the lining. On the inside it's this really fun kind of crackle print you can see there so this was a really fun bag to put together and then the feather print in the top and the notion pouch matches the feather print there so uh, we released this on Instagram back at the beginning of of March so a lot of people already know about it but so what we've done that's new is I've divided up the bags from the kit and the, the chart and the floss. So if you're really just interested in the bag and the needle minder, those are now for sale separately. Uh, the needle minders, I'm often asked this, can I just purchase a needle minder? And unfortunately the needle minders we carry, we only sell them with our bag sets. They, they go together. So it is, that's really and the Ada that I'm stitching mine on, this was an Ada that was dyed by Carrie of Leo and Roxy Flosco. Mine is an 18 count Ada and the colorway is called Catnap. And we have an option that you can get 
just a sixth of a yard of Ada specifically for Michelle's patterns, or we also have it available as quarter yard cuts. I'm getting a little low on the catnap fabric, so let me show you here. This is the 14 count. It's quite a bit darker. And the 16 count has a little bit more modeling on it. Brings out some of the green tones in the, in the dye there. And then the 18 count was the lightest of the three, and that is the one that I am stitching mine on. So less modeling, a little bit lighter gray. And I'm using one strand of floss on the Ada. So I'll bring it up nice and close. You can see my stitching there. Isn't it cute? My flamingo, he just needs an eye. And his head is done. And there is another Monstera leaf up in the corner here that just needs stitching. But this has been such a fun stitch. I've really enjoyed doing this one. Yeah. So yeah, that's 18 count, the lightest of the colorways there. So that's, other than the floss, I think that's it. I do have physical copies of this chart as well if you prefer to stitch um, from physical copies instead of PDFs. All right, just straighten myself out here. And then I'll show you the floss. So the floss pack that Michelle put together I'll bring them up nice and close, just like last time. I think this works really well. You can see the colors quite well. Charcoal, which is a beautiful, rich black with very subtle variegation in it. And it's, it's like chalkboard. It's a darker version of chalkboard. And then oyster. Those of you who stitched Moonshine Cabin, you'll be familiar with Oyster. Beautiful, beautiful color. Get rid of the other colors and then we'll get it to focus on just the one here. There we go. So that's Oyster. This is grassy. You can see the shifts in color there. It's a beautiful variegation in this one. This is Spa Day. Lime Foam. I love this color. I love it. It's so bright and happy. It's just so pretty. So that's Lime Foam. This is Pink 182. And that is a hot, beautiful pink. There's Flamingo. Flamingo um, has been used in Isabella's Heart. It's a beautiful color. I love the color of the variegation in this one as well. They're all good. Who am I kidding? I love them all. Florida Pink. This one makes me think of, you know, Sperry Top Ciders and Oxford button-down shirts. Love it. Florida Pink and then Tickled pink. So pretty. So those are the colors in the Flamingo Duo. All right, next up we have 1844 Lady Man. And those of you who were lucky enough to attend Stitch North 2022 would have been very fortunate to see Matt wearing his lady man coat. Um, Matt specializes in historically, historically accurate, but with a, you know, done in a modern way, um, clothing. And so he had made this amazing jacket with, he built cages and everything for the sleeves. And he brought that to Stitch North and, um, and wore it. And it's just, it's amazing. So we have a lady man coat to go with the chart. This is the model that was stitched and actually completed at Stitch North by my friend, Ellen. Ellen Reed, maximum cross stitch power hour. 
she stitched this for us with a Leo and Roxy floss conversion. And the chart does not include the conversion in it yet, but um, Michelle is going to add it in for us. Isn't that great? I mean, look at that. Look at the orange in that butterfly. It's just so good. So that's the model. I love how Michelle, um, you know, she, this is a reproduction. So she, she stayed fairly truthful to the original design. Look at how the grass is done. Those half stitches. Isn't that cool? Look at the effect of that. And then when you look at it from far away, that is, that's really quite something. I love that. And then some little beads for the jacket and also the, what is that called on the, the pant? There's a special, oh, it's escaping me at the moment. Look at that. Ellen's stitching is beautiful. Look at even her white stitches. That's Betty White, the white floss that's been used in here. Clean, neat stitches. Ellen, it's beautiful. Love it. Okay, oops. There we go. So, okay, so yes, we have the physical chart as well as PDF. Now, very quickly, I'll take you through the loss conversion list. We offer the conversion chart comes with the pack, the floss pack. Some of these colors I, I've probably shown before, but maybe not close up. And when you're purchasing floss online, it's really difficult to tell, you know, what is that color? What is it really like? Am I going to like it? So maybe this will give you a better idea of, of what some of our colors look like up close. So Dark Sage, always a favorite. Artichoke, Tornasol. Now Tornasol is a new one for us. It's a new release. We've had it for a while and it's actually a slightly more muted version of Sunflower and Tornasol is Sunflower in French. So we thought a little nod there. Just beautiful. Uh, pumpkin up the jam. There's our orange in the butterfly. 11 points more. Now, 11 points is named for the number of points on the maple leaf, which is on the Canadian flag. So 11 points more is a darker richer version of 11 points. 11 points has more variegation in it, moving into the slightly lighter red color. So 11 points more, darker version. Inappropriate. Now I shared inappropriate the other day in the Winter Quakers conversion. Beautiful, beautiful sampler red. Just dropped, dropped Betty White. There she is. Again, she was also in the Winter Quakers conversion. Chocolate ganache. This was in, we originally used this one in the Jeanette Douglas holiday um, Christmas cheer pin pillows. It's beautiful brown. We have hickory. Ochre, I love this color. And with an E, caramel, haystack, desert sand, up a fair bit of pink here. It's 
not quite that pink in reality, but it's a beautiful color. Vampish, which we use a lot in various things. Vampish is a black, black purple. So there is a very, uh, there's definitely an undertone of a really, really rich purple in here. And I'm not sure it's going to pick it up properly. You'd see it if I, well, let's see. Okay, here's, here's charcoal. Let's do this. Here's charcoal and vampish next to each other. So you see? Charcoal on the right, vampish on the left. There we go. Then we have Pippi. If you're a fan of Jacob of Modern Folk Embroidery, you're going to be seeing Pippi in something that he's been working on. And spoiler, it's beautiful. Pippi, that's a great color. It's it's a reddish brown that is, um, oh, it's so beautiful. Look at that. Love it. And we have Tickled Pink again. And new color that we added into the shop last month, Grape Soda. Just a gorgeous purple. And, of course, we've used that in the lady man's jacket. So there you have it. Those are the two models that I have for you today. Uh, the other market releases of Michelle's that we have in the shop are the Lucky Cat, the Vase from Thrace, and the 1905, it's the 1905 bird, oh boy. Okay, I'll put it in, I'm gonna pop photos in it on the screen so that you can see what, what her other market releases designs look like. They're so fun. I love Michelle's color palettes. They're always warm and happy and they just make you feel good. So there you have it, lady man. And my one of two flamingos from the Flamingo Duo. And that's it, that's it for me today. I, I am hoping to uh, record a more, you know, face-to-face uh, -face floss tube soon. I have some other, you know, my other whips that I've been working on that I would like to, to share and show. And also, um, I still need to do that Isabella's Heart giveaway, the full kit, I need to do that. And also the, um, my husband, John, I'll tell you this at the very end. So, because I, I want to do a, this properly, but I'm just going to give you a, a little heads up of something that John and I are working on together. If you've followed me for a while, um, you'll know that I, I have been doing fundraising in the month of December during Flossmas. And up until now, I've, I've raised money for Muscular Dystrophy of Canada, Muscular Dystrophy Canada. And I didn't really do much last December. And John came to me a few weeks ago and he said, he told me he was going to be running the New York Marathon again this year. And he wanted to add a fundraising component to his race. And so he has joined the Brain Aneurysm Foundation in the States, in the US. And he is going to be raising money um, for his run. And so I am going to help him. I'm going to be raising money with him. So I'm going to be doing some auctions and I'm going to be, you know, donating some things from Evertote uh, to sell and raise some money towards, towards his goal. So I'm excited to share that with you. I can also give you um, a little heads up that I have gotten him to agree to do a little video with me. So we'll do a little video together, maybe later this week or on the weekend depending when we've got a little bit of time. So until then, until the next, probably the next video will be, I've, I've still got uh, a fair bit, a fair bit of new things to show with, to show and share with you. So I'll do that um, over the course of this week. So until my next video, I hope you're well, I hope you're safe, and I hope that you have some fun stitching to occupy your time keep you happy and happy stitching. I'll see you soon.